it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I have a beer from Monkish. Now, last, it was either last year or the year before, the wonderful, I got a letter, Chris in San Diego forwarded the beer to Steve in Manchester, England. That's the effort that goes on to get wonderful beer around on this very channel. It's amazing that people look at it and view it and want to send beer from around the world to get to the channel. So about a year or two, I reviewed Foggy Window by Monkish and it was incredible. So the same two guys have teamed up and sent me some more beer. So thank you to Chris and Steve. Unbelievable guys, thank you very much. This is Monkish Foggier Window. This is a double dry hopped, double India Pale Ale coming in at 8.1% ABV in a 16 fluid ounce can, one pint 16 fluid ounce can. Uh, there's a look at it. Very, 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 very excited by this beer then. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. And there we go. Exciting times. I really enjoyed Foggy Window. I thought it was a terrific, terrific example of a Nipah New England IPA. But this, my goodness me, look at this. It looks even more crazy. Oh, look at that. One finger white head. Looks like soup. It looks like soup. Hazy, 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 oaty, straw coloured beer. Mango soup, I would say that looks like. Look at it. My goodness me, let's get the aroma on this beer then. Look, look at the smile on my face. I mean, life's good when life is like this. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Aroma. Well, just wow. There's a touch of sweetness, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Oh, I could just stand here and smell this beer all day long. It's just. Wow. But I can't, I've got to get into it. I can even smell a little bit of oats in there. Let's go. Cheers, everybody. Thanks very much, Chris and Steve. I just got to put that down. Stone the crows! Stone the crows! Oh, what a beer! What a beer! My goodness me! Um, where do I start with this one? There's enough carbonation to, to push the beer around the inside of the mouth and release lots and lots of enormous flavour. The mouthfeel is incredible to go with that carbonation. It's, it's an oaty kind of creaminess. It's a bit like uh, my wife makes oats on the pan for breakfast every morning. And you know you get that kind of creamy residue on the bottom of the pan when you've poured your oats out onto a plate. Well, that's the reason why they put oats or they brew with oats. It's to get that lovely creaminess into the beers, to give the beer mouthfeel. And this beer is bursting, bursting with mouthfeel. Oh. But it's refreshing too. It's not just overly thick and creamy. It's a delicate balance between a nice kind of gloopiness, but also a refreshing feeling as you're, as you're drinking the beer, which beer should be, shouldn't it? It should be refreshing after all. 
Oh. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. The very slightest touches of bitterness on the back end. But at 8.1% ABV, you can feel a little bit of alcohol warming in the throat. You can definitely feel it there. Thick, incredibly refreshing beer that just, it sticks to your palate. The beer then explodes on your palate. The flavour is being pushed around your palate. This, you've got flavour, you've got, you've got taste buds on the top of your tongue, the bottom of your tongue, the top of your mouth, your cheeks, even towards the back of the throat there. So if that beer can stick a little bit and stay there for a little longer, then you're gonna, it's going to explode on the palate. And all that flavour in the beer, the amount of hops in the beer helps this beer explode on the palate. But I just said at 8.1% ABV, you can feel a little tickle of alcohol in the throat. And you can feel a little tickle of a, a warming sensation as the beer slides down into the pit of the stomach. I'm going to... I never talk about... Well, I've started recently to... to give you the person behind the beer reviews a little bit rather than just make it beer review specific I'm talking a little bit about especially on the Stone Crow virtual pub on a Friday night that I do here on the channel at 7 p.m um I'm, I'm talking a little bit about kind of digging in the garden and, and 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 working in the garden and doing other things around the house and just like what beer is what is beer for I'm trying to I'm trying to like like in a psychological point of view as well what is why do we drink beer and, and uh, one of the reasons I'm going to bring this up today because I woke up slightly moody this morning unfortunately at the age of 42 and I hope it comes back and if it doesn't I need a bit of a life change I think I'm not waking up and springing out of bed in the morning as I once was thinking ah you know What's the day going to bring and what are we going to do? And, 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 and I woke up, I'm waking up recently a little bit moody, a little bit grumpy, a little bit kind of, oh, you know, oh, we've got a long winter or I'm always moaning about something or I'm kind of, and, and I firmly believe that beer can completely change your outlook on life completely even from drinking just a few mouthfuls of this beer i can feel the spring in my step i can i can feel the the and it's not the alcohol it's not the alcohol i'm pretty sure of that it's it's just how blooming good and well made and how amazingly tasty this beer is that it's altered it put me in a really good mood. I'm in a really good mood now from drinking beer. And, and that's the... I think that's why one of the reasons why people drink beer and drink alcohol um, in the first place. A glass of red wine or a white wine. Just to unwind at the end of the day. Just to, you know, some, I, I, I used to work in a pub and people used to come into the pub. You'd see it on their face, you know. They'd be like, oh, God. I've been kind of laying a patio all day and I'm knackered and my back's hurting and... And, and then you serve them that first beer, and then they do this at the bar, and they... Mm. And you watch their shoulders kind of relax, and then they lean up at the bar, and then they're happy. They're happy. I don't think it's... It, it, I don't think it's the... I, I think it's, it's, it's the, the taste of the beer that, that... For me, it does it for me anyway. It, it puts me in a fantastic mood. And uh, this this beer, this beer being so good, so good, has put me in a really lovely afternoon uh, mood for, for for this afternoon. Monkish, foggy window, double dry hop, double India Pale Ale. 
8.1% ABV. Uh, there's nothing really in the way of what hops are in the beer. and It's just that this brewed in California, uh, Torrance, California by MonkishBrewing.com. Love it. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm ready. I'm ready to rate it. I like this beer an awful, awful lot. It, it's just incredible. It's just, it's set the tone for the rest of my day, the rest of my afternoon. It's five past 12 in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm happy now. This is good. Love the mouthfeel. Love the flavours in the beer, the peach, the pineapple, the orange peel, the fleshy blood orange, the grapefruit. Love the balance of the beer between that little bit of sweetness to begin with, the little bit of the touch, the small touch of bitterness on the back end. That warming sensation as the alcohol's kind of like just rolling around in your throat and it's warm in the pit of your stomach. Yeah, it's a brilliant beer. It's a brilliant beer. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.